back to We Talk Cricket. Good to have you here with us on the channel again so we can talk some cricket. And unfortunately for Pakistan, this loss to England basically caps their World Cup for them. It's been a tough road for them and England. And wow, oh wow, I know the English feel good that they are leaving on a winning note versus all, like, all the Pakistani fans out there, I'm sorry. But cricket, that unpredictable game really did catch up. So without further ado, let's get into it. We are England batting first, making 337 for 9. A very imposing and respectable total with Ben Stokes making a solid 84. Just continuing his good form that he's had so far in recent matches. Just stepping up and leading the way for England. We had Joe Root supporting him with a solid 60. Still going for that reverse scoop despite it almost taking out as you know what. <laughs> During the last match when he got pulled. <laughs> Still going for it. And also, finally, among the runs, Johnny Bairstow making a good 50-odd. Just really good, solid batting from England. Yes, in the, hunt, look, in the hunt for quick runs, they lost a lot of wickets down the order. But hey, still a very respectable total for them. Bowling for Pakistan, we had House Ralph, who picked up three wickets. And <laughs> along with picking up those three wickets, Four or 64 runs, he added a little record to his name. He became, and the tournament is obviously long, so that may change, but right about now, he has conceded the most runs by a bowler in the Cricket World Cup. He has over, he's conceded over 530 runs. That's a lot. So, just a little unwanted record to his name. Now, Pakistan, in response when they came out to bat, were bundled out for 244. Not what I expected at all to see. Things just were not gelling. I'm sorry, but it just really was not. We had Agma, I don't say this word, Agha, Salman, or Salman Agma. The, the, the way his name is said and pronounced seems to be a little confusing for me. But he was the only one offering some fight with making a good half century. But besides that, didn't really receive support from anyone else. We had David Willey picking up three wickets and he also announced his retirement from ODI cricket with a heavy heart, he says. Now, definitely in a must-win game, I expected a lot more from Pakistan. And it, did, it does sadden me to see that they're out of the World Cup when they had the chances to really make it coming in as the number one ODI team in the world. Now, hopefully, both England and Pakistan will leave this World Cup learning and grow, will continue to grow. You can't ask for much more. This is the game we love, and sometimes our teams don't make it all the way. Trust me, I know. We didn't even make it to the dang. Let's not talk about it. But anyway. It's a game to learn and grow. England definitely has stepped to their last couple of matches, making sure that their top order, middle order has definitely fired. And also that their bowling has stepped up a peg. They're not, they're, they consistently took key wickets whenever needed and were able to restrict um, their, op their opponents or opposition. So well done. Pakistan sadly has been on a, on a tough road, on a tough slide. Starting off good, then sliding. Winning a couple, then continue to slide. So hopefully for both these teams, this World Cup would have shown a lot of things to improve, a lot of things to work on, and that they will do so. Now, the semifinals have been decided with India, South Africa, New Zealand, and Australia making the way. The last hope now for the Asian continent to have a victory will rest on India. So a lot more pressure in comparison to what they're already feeling, feeling being at home. Now, they're playing already right now, so we wish them the best of luck. We wish every team the best of luck going forward in this tournament. But let us know in the comments below, who do you think will advance to the final? Will it be India? Will it be South Africa? Will it be New Zealand or Australia? Because they're the comeback story of this Cricket World Cup so far. And you know we're going to have to talk about it. We're us, everyone, but right here on We Talk Cricket. And I'll catch you next time so we can talk some more. Later. Every time you feel this way, it